Hey everybody welcome back to the channel now today we'll be tackling something that is pretty routine for many people but I just decided to uh, do a video on it anyway what we're talking about is the engine oil change okay we're gonna be tackling that today and you know just a pretty brief overview of how it's done let's jump right into it and see if we can get this knocked out okay guys so on my model, I've got the uh, the uh, screw-on type, okay, and it's located in an opening right here, okay, very accessible. And the bung for the uh, oil pan is right there, very accessible. Again, there's an actual opening that Mazda has uh, given us, and um, so this should be pretty quick process okay guys so this is a 17 millimeter bolt okay pretty easy to undo and there's a technique here for not getting any oil on your hands and <laughs> lo and behold, I failed at that. <laughs> All right, no big deal. All right, we managed to uh, to not spill any on the ground, which is you know always a good thing for our environmental uh, consciousness. All right, cool. Okay, guys. So what we have here is the um, the bung for the oil um, pan. Now, I gave it a cleaning. And uh, guys, when you remove this, be sure that uh, this um, this washer doesn't fall into the oil pan. You know, be sure to check it before you you put the bolt back in. All right, because I've actually done that. Didn't realize it wasn't there. And it dropped in the oil, and luckily for me, I realized before I actually dumped the oil, got it back in place. I'd actually put the bung back in place. I had to actually quickly remove the bung. It was quite uh, <laughs> quite a, um, a task to not spill much I don't think I drop even you know just a little bit just you know a little bit of oil but uh, be sure that this uh, washer is in place Okay guys, so now we've got our trusty uh, torque wrench. The, uh, the uh, torque setting for the bungs are between 23 and uh, 30 pound-feet. Alright, so I've set it to 25, nice and in the middle. And guys, this is the beautiful thing about Fram, which is why I always try to get them, is because they have this 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 nice uh, uh, finish here that makes removing the, the filter very easy. No matter what you do, you're going to get oil on your hands anyway. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay now guys, um, rule of thumb here, um, ok 
Okay, now guys, what we need to do at this point is to make sure that the uh, surface here is lightly oiled. Okay, not too much, just just you know, slightly oiled, and we put a little oil here on the on the gasket of the filter. Just run your finger right there. Okay, we can just clean this up a little bit. We don't need that much oil on here. Okay, just make sure it's nice and slick. That's all we need. Okay, and then we run this on just hand tight. Just like that. Okay. Okay, that's it. Hand tight, that's all we need. Okay, so for the engine oil guys, um, you can use a funnel if you like. I tend to use them. You don't have to. The opening is uh, wide enough. Um, I'll be using uh, the Walmart branded uh, Supertech 0W20. It's a good oil. Read some reviews on it, and you know it's it's pretty good stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop this in. Okay guys, so that basically uh, wraps up the whole process. Uh, we changed the engine oil and uh, we checked for leaks and there are none. So we can go right ahead and get this baby started up. <laughs> 